All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praise and glory is unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harchach Badash. They belong to our apostles, the bishops, the elders of the great millstone who teach God every well. And greetings, salutations, blessings, much love unto you, hopeful elect. Shalom unto you, your brother Shakwa, with a quick video. Just want to, um, as, as these bombs are going off, so to speak, okay, I was trying to get it live, but I don't have a Bible app also uh, separately, and I didn't bring my sword with me. Um, but just want to tap into the the whole vibe that I got, you know, and, and I'm sure a lot of brothers have the same, uh, the Holy Spirit, his own brothers, man, to, 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 to invoke what this feels like, okay? And so um, what this feels like as far as the explosions and the, the, the fireworks that are going off, and you see footage of, of bombs being of, of happening over there in the Middle East in different places. That was a nice one, by the way. Wish y'all could have seen that one. It, re it reminds you of World War III and the sound effects with Lord willing, you can hear it in the background. Wow. Yeah, that you can hear in the background reminds you of what it's going to be like uh, when, when it's so-called the purge outside. Okay? And I'm just gonna tap into a few few scriptures uh, real briefly and Lord willing and satisfying. Okay, this is Isaiah 9 and 5. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise. And all the previous battles in history have been fought uh, with swords and iron and clanging and, and body being slashed and stabbed and chopped and so on and so forth. Okay, but this it says um and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Okay, World, World War III is going to be with burning and fuel of fire. So you're going to hear more bomb activity, okay? Okay, that's what's happening in World War III. And there's different uh, scriptures that talk about World War III and, and the missiles particularly. And this is what this invokes. As they're, I guess they're hitting the climax right now. I don't know if that's it or if they're just going to keep going, but there's a lot of people letting them off right now, as you may be able to hear. Okay? But we also got to understand that our Lord Yahweh Shai is, uh, is not only coming for, for, for this, okay? He's coming to, 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 to take his people out of, out of captivity. Let me hit Daniel. Daniel 12 and 1, it says, And at that time... Shall Michael stand up, that great prince, or the archangel Michael, right? That great prince was standeth for the children of thy people, the Israelites, particularly the elect of your so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans and Israelite foreigners scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. Okay? It says, um, and there shall be a time of trouble, Jacob's trouble. And these signs and these sounds sound like that. And uh, let's see if I can get that popping. Bear with me. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can hold that with it, but you know, and as I'll try to move it around as, as things is happening. But it says, um, in that time thy people shall be delivered. Okay, let me back up, start at the top again, Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael the archangel stand up, that great prince was standing for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble. And we're talking about Jacob's trouble, okay? In Jacob's trouble, there will be a lot of sound effects as the such okay a lot of a lot of sound effects just like you're hearing now okay because there and i'm gonna get to it lord one of the second answers but but this will be a time where people will will lose all all lawless it will be all lawlessness in the streets people will be lo losing their minds they'll be invading one another for for, for food so on and so forth and we got to understand as the children of israel or as you so-called negro latinos and native americans that this is that time man this is the the real judgment of the lord it's, it's far worse than you ever imagined okay but there's bomb, bombs still going off over there it's just going off everywhere okay and that's what it's going to be like in this time right such as never was since there was a nation uh even to that same time right up until now, there's never been anything like this that we we will ever see and that has ever been seen, okay? There's nothing like it, okay? This will be the most perilous and dangerous time that, you, that we will ever live in, okay? 
It says, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered. And this is the time we're coming into that the Israelites will be redeemed and, re and delivered by, by Yahweh Shai. Okay? Who you ain't really called Jesus Christ. All right? And it says, everyone that shall be found written in the book, the book of life. All right? Now let's go to, okay, this is Isaiah chapter 13, verse 5. It says, uh, they come from afar. Let me see if I should read up. Yep. Yep. Because as we, as if you know anything about current events and geopolitics and what, and so forth, hey, man, they're, they're, you know, World War III is on the rise. All right? You should be able to see Ukraine and, 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 and different parts uh, uh, and Israel and Palestine and, and, and you should be able to see different parts of this world gearing up for war. China's involved, uh, North Korea's involved, all these uh, people are involved, countries involved, as for the world's final world war. All right? It says, uh, this is verse, um, I have uh, Isaiah 13 verse 3 says I have commanded my sanctified ones I have also called my mighty ones from mine anger even them that rejoice in my highness and those that rejoice in his highness are the angels okay even the elect you can call the the, 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 the ground troops or the, or, the, or the people that are on earth the men that are on earth calling out to Yahweh to save us from, from these such events okay yeah we're calling woo that was dope. Yeah, and and you know what? We rejoice in these sound effects, man. You gotta be able to rejoice in these sound effects, knowing that this is what it takes to get through, to get to uh, the kingdom of heaven. All right. Back in it, it says, uh, "I have called my mighty ones from mine anger," and he's getting all these nations riled up. He's getting um, his, his 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 elect riled up. Okay, in the spirit. Okay, for, for this final world's war, everybody's gearing up towards it. But you two thirds of his of the Israelites, you're the ones that 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 are, that are in danger, man. You're the ones that are gonna catch a bad one. You're the ones that aren't prepared for this thing. And there's no physical preparation that we as Israelites can make. The only preparation we can do is spiritual. Calling on the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Anyway, it's uh, even then that rejoice in my highness, and the angels are gonna be involved, as we read about Michael. And so on and so forth all these things are going to be happening in the earth okay it says the noise of a multitude in the mountains like as a great people a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together and this is taught about all the nations gathering together for world war three okay this has got to go down this has got to go down there's no way to get free and you and the most of our people don't even understand what being free is all about we got to get free Okay, meaning we can't be in the hand of this Edomite. We can't be in the ha uh, hand of, uh, of America and so other places in the earth captive, man. These curses got to come off of us at some point because we know we have a merciful, po uh, uh, merciful power. Okay, and his name is Yahweh, and his only begotten son is, is Yahweh Shai. We know that he has to be merciful to let us out of this and to send his, his only begotten son down to, uh, so we can rejoice in his highness. Okay, now we can have reverence for him and have an opportunity to make it back because we wouldn't be able to make it back without him. A lot of in between. But this is the moment, right? This is the moment that this is all coming up to. Okay, it says, Noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together, the Lord Yahweh of hosts mustereth the host of the battle. All right, he, he builds them up. He says, For they come from a far country, from the end of heaven, even to even the Lord, and the weapons of His indignation, meaning those those nuclear missiles, man. Okay, and indignation means righteous anger. All right, His righteous anger has to come upon the people, particularly the two thirds, but He also has to come upon the Edomites and the other nations to subdue them, so we can be uh, uh, let free. All right, as a people, it says. Um, to destroy the whole land and when you see this stuff it's going to destroy the whole land okay of what of that lake of fire America okay Babylon the great as it says in the scriptures okay 
that this place is, is a symbol of our captivity and it will be a symbol uh, 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 of our rebellion against the Holy Father for other generations in the future to remember, okay, to, to commemorate that we went through this process, okay, to make it to God's status, so to speak. All right, so how ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. And this what you're seeing, all these fireworks and whatever being let off, looks like a wonderful thing, but it's going to be a, a, a tumultuous thing, okay, in the earth when uh, when it really lets forth, when it goes forth, okay? Meaning every every situation when these bombs are let off is going gonna, gonna to be for, for the destruction of the people on earth. Now, is it going to wipe out everybody? No particularly here in America and certain other places in the earth. We know the land of Israel has to be cleansed, okay, among other places, all right? Just just to, to break that Edomite uh, rulership, all right? I missed it. But anyway, it says, uh, How ye for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come up as a destruction from the Almighty. There, Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. All right, yeah, people are gonna lose their minds when it comes down to it. Why? Because the destruction is coming on, on such a scale that that people of the earth have never seen anything like this before, nor shall ever be. So, and they and they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrow shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman in travail. Excuse me, that travaileth, meaning a woman that's about to give birth, that's going through birth pains. They shall be amazed one at another, their faces shall be as flames. Behold, and that's the, that's the look of, 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 of um, imminent destruction coming upon the people. All right? It says, For the uh, behold, the day of the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Okay? So this is what's coming for the people. Okay, and this is what your, uh, your so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans are not prepared for. You're not prepared to go through a time that on, your only defense is calling on the name of the Heavenly Father. Okay, and there's a lot of ones that you just can't even see. This is the strip where them lights are back that way, but you can't even see it with you know on the camera. But with the naked eye, you can see it all, right? All right, Joel two. Um, I'll start at verse 1. It says, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. Tell the Israelites, the monument of all the people, that this is that this is coming. And this is what we're alarming you and warning you about. This is coming. Okay? World War III is coming. And the, and the purge-like conditions on the earth are coming. These sound effects are like gunshots in the earth, man. Okay? You will be hearing machine guns and, and handguns and whatever, shotguns and whatever else going off in the earth. Okay? This is going to be happening. All right? Missiles will be letting off from this country and to this country. All right? And our only uh, salvation from that is, 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 is being, um, what's the word I want to look for? Abducted by the angels, which, are, which you people see as, as the UFOs. Okay? It says, blow the... The, the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain that all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord cometh for it is nigh at hand a day of darkness and gloominess a day of clouds and thick darkness as the morning spread upon the mountains I meaning this is going to be the worst and darkest time ever it's not about the physical darkness as the countenance of, of the morality of the people will be so dark okay people are going to be killing each other and people aren't going to give a damn People are going to go next door to, you, to your, your neighbor. You just had a barbecue with this guy a couple years ago or, or last week or whatever the case may be. But this time you're going to be going over there to take his food. Okay? And, and, and nothing's going to stop you. Right? And vice versa. It says, um, upon the great mountain, says, A great people and a strong, there have never been ever the like, neither shall be any more after it. We'll never see a destructive situation like this ever in life again. Okay? It ain't, it ain't, it ain't gonna go down like this ever again. Alright? And you hear that alarm even, you can tell. That's also a situation that'll be going off until those car batteries die. 
Okay, people are going to die from smoke inhalation, from trying to sit in the car to stay warm. All types of situations are going to be going on on Earth. But what there will be is, is mass amounts of destruction. You can even see the police, the blue and red. I don't know if you can see it going across the uh, some of the land, uh, the area over there. It's probably part of the freeway right there. Okay? But this is a situation that no one's going to be able to escape. All the inhabitants of the Earth got to deal with this. Okay? This is what has to happen. All right? Yeah, yeah, and, 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 and we love it. Uh, it says, a fire devours before them, behind them a flame burneth. This is talking about the missiles. Okay, when the missiles are shot off. Okay, the, the fire devours before them. When it busts out them silos and the flame burneth behind them, that the propulsion unit. The land is as the, the Garden of Eden before them. Uh, paradise, you know which is the Hebrew word I don paradise, and you'll see all people thriving and laughing and joking and, and being whatever the hell they want to be, wicked or whatever. They'll be doing what they want to do. And then it says, and behind them, a desolate wilderness. But after they hit, within an hour, this place is going to be laid flat, like a desolate wilderness, as it says in um, I, uh, Revelation. I'll get it. Yea, and nothing shall escape them. All right? Now let me get that Revelation. As I mentioned earlier, um, the only escape of these things are, are, are to get out of here with the UFOs, which I'm, I'm saying UFOs, you know, to, to, to make it clear, but it's really the, the, the chariots of, of Israel, which are, the angels are in, and that, that major fathership uh, Yahweh Shai will be in, okay, the Lord himself. It says, and I heard another voice from heaven saying, come up, come out of her, um, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. And what's the plague? The plague of this place will be fire. When the when the nuclear missiles hit hit this place from the other parts of the world, this place will be laid flat with fire. Okay, if that doesn't put you in the fear and reverence of the Heavenly Father, if you're a so-called Israelite, I mean a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, and is an Israelite, hey man, you out of there. All right, and there's no other remedy for it. Okay, it says, um, for her sins have reached unto heaven, meaning the, 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 the issues of this country have gotten to such a point that the only thing the Heavenly Father could do is wipe it off the planet. Okay, and the Most High hath remembered her iniquity, her sin upon sin. Reward her as she has rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her works. And the cup which she hath filled, filled her double. This place got to get double uh, 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 destruction. Okay, it has to happen. All right, now the point I was going to make was this one, and you know, it talks about the pride and, and the, the uh, uh, philosophies of the, uh, of the wine, or, you know, that it talks about. But verse 8 says, Therefore shall her plans come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord Yahweh who judges her. Okay, and that's what's going to happen to this place. Okay. And it'll be like verse 10, standing afar off for the fear of torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city, Babylon, the mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. Okay, and this is what we're going to, Lord willing, I'm of the elect as well, but the elect will be able to look down and see this happening and see the destruction. Okay, of this place. And rightfully so, because you two thirds are wicked. And, and, and the rest of you people that, that, that side with this country, all this, the, the people that celebrating this thing, you know, so-called 4th of July, you know, I was going to call it the bombs over Baghdad, but this ain't Baghdad. The bombs over Babylon is what I should call it. When that finally kicks, hey, you people are going to be, be in dire need of, uh, of help. And it won't be any help for you because you missed that time. All right? Okay, this is Matthew 24, and I'm going to start up at... Um, 37 but at the days of Noah were so shall the coming of the son of man be for in the days that were before the flood they were eating and drinking marrying and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not that the flood came because you people aren't ready man you people are just not ready all right you people are not ready for the destruction that's coming 
this sound will be a, 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 a common a common sound effect in the background if you're lucky or maybe right before your face and I don't mean just because Trump's getting in the office or you know if Lord willing he does he gets in the office and, and then they'll be shooting down Jake's and they'll be shooting down the people and all of these things will be having riots and all this stuff has got to happen anyway whether Biden Trump or whomever else gets in the office okay there's gonna be a destructive spirit in the earth because this is what what time we're living in okay and there's not a man on the earth that can that can that can stop it only when your shot comes with this with this thing in after all the stuff that has to take place first happens okay and knew not until the flood came and took them away so shall also the coming of the son of man be okay verse 42 watch therefore for you know not what hour your lord do come okay and we should and this is what we're watching the prophecies we're watching uh the prophets what they're speaking of we're watching the prophecies in the earth and, and we're calling the play you know before it happens all right this is really how, how this goes down second edge 16 verse 9 i'm gonna start up at verse 9 this whole chapter is an excellent chapter you know, the top of the chapter talks about the missiles and so on and so forth. But it says, verse 9, it says, A fire shall go forth from his wrath, the weapons of the Heavenly Father's righteous anger, which is his indignation. Okay? And who shall, and who is he that may quench it? He shall cast lightnings, and who shall fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? Okay? And the real answer to that is the elect, because we expect it and we, we know it's got to go down. And moments like this is just building our faith to understand it, that hey, things is about to really kick off on a major level, right? It says, the Lord shall threaten and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence. The earth quaketh and the foundations thereof, the sea ariseth up with waves from the deep and the waves of it are troubled and the fishes thereof also. Therefore, excuse me, before the Lord and before the glory of his power. Verse 13, for strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow, his, the, 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 the nuclear missiles are also called arrows or bows, right? It says his arrows that he shooteth are sharp, they shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Showing you that it's not a regular bow and arrow, this is nuclear arrows, okay, shot from the ends of the world. Okay, Inter intercontinental ballistic missiles. ICBM missiles as you as you hear behold the plagues are sent and shall not return until they come upon the earth Okay, the fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth Like as an arrow is shot of a mighty archer Returneth not backward even so the plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again Okay, it's not gonna end. It's not gonna stop in the middle in the middle of it It's got to go all the way through and once it goes all the way through, it'll never be back on the earth like that again. Okay? 17. Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? The beginning of sorrows and great mornings, the beginning of famine. And when I go back to the 15th chapter, it's going to show you that, that, that there's going to be a famine and people are going to be invading one another with that famine. Okay? They're going to be a sedition of men in the earth. Okay? All these things... have to come to pass okay it has to come to pass okay to get out of it it says um and great death so prepare to see great death it says the beginning of wars and the powers shall stand in fear the beginning of evils and evil means bad time what shall i do when these evils shall come behold famine and plague tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for a amendment and the people should be correcting themselves as they see the low level scourges in the earth but as these missiles and war and their children are drafted and so on and so forth and, and you are drafted or whatever may happen you know in that scenario when these when these things come to pass and you see what's happening hey you're gonna you, you're gonna want to amend your ways but it, it, it'll probably be too late if you're not of the elect it says but for all these things they shall not turn from their wickedness nor be always mindful of the scourges okay they're not going to be mindful of these things or, or scourges for us to get right with the heavenly father you've been saying you're going to get right jake been talking about selling wolf tickets about getting right but when you actually going i know i need to get right when you going to actually get
when you actually, man, when you actually going to get right. Okay? When are you actually going to get right? It says, from, this is verse 22, and I'll grab it in 21. Behold, victuals shall be so good, cheap upon earth, that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. For many that dwell upon earth shall perish of, fa of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. Whether it's the modern day sword, which is the gun, or whether it's nuclear uh, 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 sword. Okay? All right? This has to come to pass. Now, when I jump down in this chapter, I mean, it just goes in. You know, you can see these. It's just going to continue to increase. And as the brothers were saying, this has got to go fast, man. Once it pops off, this is going to go fast. You know, it's not going to be any time for you to catch your breath. All right? Now, is it going to end fast? No. You can't imagine that it's going to end fast. Not, not for you. It's going to feel like an eternity for most of you people. Okay, verse, matter of fact, let me go to 15 real quick. Um, second Ezra 15 and 1, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. And we've been prophesying unto you, and this is a prophecy that I'm telling you about World War III and the, and the coming destruction, and even the low-level trouble, uh, 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 low-level, the, the, the other trouble of Jacob, you know, the things of Jacob's trouble, the destruction and perils of Jacob's trouble. Okay, these things have to come to pass, man. All right, it says, I will put in thy mouth, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. That means they're going to come to pass, regardless what the people say or try to make excuse of. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee, for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. If you don't believe that this is coming to pass enough to move you, to righteousness according to as the scripture have said hey man you know through through faith and belief hey man it's to your destruction all right i mean they're letting off all around all right it says behold saith the lord i will bring plagues upon the world sword famine death and destruction for wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth and their hurtful works are fulfilled all right, now let me jump down. Uh, yep, yep. Woe, verse 14, woe to the world and them that dwell therein. The sword and their destruction draw of nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another and swords in their hands. And so what does that tell you? That tells you that the people of the earth are going to have guns and, 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 and whatever else, knives and whatever else to kill one another, man. Crossbows, who knows, man. Okay? And if the Lord be not with you, man, you're not going to be protected in these days, man. Okay? Do we do we prep? We don't prep for none of this, man. We don't prep for none of the, these things. Now, do you, do you build up the skill knowing that, you know, if you knew the big game was coming, yeah, you should train and work out and just be in good health. Okay, good health will prevent the pestilence that the scriptures talk about from hitting you so hard and you able to get through it. Okay, the uh, good health will, will, will allow you to be able to run for your life, if that be the case. Okay, and so and, and, and a host of other things. It's just the wise thing and part of who, who we are and what we do as a people. All right, and yeah, some of us start from a real messed up conditions, but hey, man, we got to fight. All right, it says, The sword in their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another with and swords in their hands. For there shall be a sed be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and their course of their actions shall stand in their power. Man going to do what he want to do. He going to do, do what he will. Okay? And it's going to be to every to, to the destruction of all the people, except the elect. Particularly in this country, it says a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. That's talking about martial law. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, and houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Okay, because you're going to hear the troops going house to house. You're going to hear the militias going house to house. You're going to hear them coming down the streets, gangs and whatever else forms are going to be happening. And shootouts and wars and people going in. Yeah, I know I know the Johnsons across the street, man. I know they got food in there. They all big or whatever the case may be. But then you hear a 
car pull up or you hear people coming down the street and busting in the door you hear screaming and, and, and whatever else and that's going to be what it is okay and it won't be 911 to stop these situations there won't be a military that's coming to rescue you and your your individuals or your household okay it's not happening it says for because their pride the city shall be troubled the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor but shall destroy their houses with the sword for the and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread that means food for comfort and for great tribulation okay when you jump uh, back to the 16th chapter you know and I'm not going to make this too much longer Let's see where we at anyway yep it says behold Yahweh himself is the judge fear him and leave off from your sins and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever repent okay you got to repent sometimes believing in the wrong thing is a sin man you got to repent you should only be leaving the heavenly father and his only begotten son Okay, to meddle no more with them forever, so shall the Most High lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you, being idle with things offered unto idols. And this is for us that believe. We still got to go through the shit as well. And they that consent unto them that, that, that lose faith, that are not of the elect, Okay, shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Okay, the Israelites, particularly the elect of Israel, people are going to come up, come against us with the defamation and so on and so forth. And, 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 and a lot of our people are going to come up short. But, so, but the elect is going to hold strong even unto death, as it says in Revelation 20th chapter, right? Be headed for the witness, right? They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. They shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Okay? This has to go down. And it's going to sound like, like a lot of this. Okay? It's going to sound like that. All these pops and booms and pap pap paps and, and booms and sonic booms or whatever. You're going to be hearing all kinds of destruction going off just in the city like i said one of the movies you got to check out is that purge man that first purge and that's in that pur purge anarchy those purges kind of put you in that mind state of what it's going to be like okay because that movie didn't have you you know like 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 the movie the first purge which i think was the fourth installment or even the third election election year election day or whatever it's purge they didn't have you where people are sneaking around and, and have a chance and there's one great guy that's helping everybody out. The one great guy is going to be your angel that's helping the elect get through these things, but the average person ain't going to have that. Okay? When you see that other movie, you see how brutal the destruction is. Okay, and I think it's like even in the credits before or after. Yep. Yep, yep, right? You are hearing all kind of stuff. Okay. All right. So this is what's happening in the earth, man. Okay. But it says here, then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Here, O ye my beloved, house of David, man. Well, that's what beloved is. Double die. It says, um, saith the Lord, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Okay. It says it again. There will be. All right, all right, and so I'm going to leave with this final message, okay? Let this be a warning, as it says in Ezekiel, the third chapter, and give them warning for me. Let this be a warning. It says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord power, Yahweh, are upon the sinful kingdom. And who's the sinful kingdom? We like to use this for America, which we know the destruction is coming to America, but it's also another fold more prominent than that is, is the sinful kingdom is you Israelites, you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, particularly you two-thirds. We're warning all the people, but two-thirds of you are not going to listen. Okay? And I will destroy it off the face of the earth, saving that I will not utterly destroy the house of Jacob. Jake's Israelites, saith the Lord. For lo, I will command and I will sift the house 
of Israel among all nations, like as a corn is sifted in the seed, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Verse 10, all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Keep thinking that way. Okay? Keep thinking that way. Keep believing in this place and not believing in your higher power. And the type of sounds and destruction, when they come upon you, you're going to shit yourselves, man. You're going to piss on yourselves. Okay? Because you're afraid and you weren't prepared mentally or spiritually for this thing to happen this way. All right? So I'm going to leave it there. I just want to hit a, a, a few precepts, you know, and, and, and let you get a little bit of the sound effects that come with a night like this. Because when Jacob's trouble comes, these sounds will be gunshots. And then when, the, when, when World War III uh, and this America is being destroyed and you didn't get, get beamed up out of it, you know, like I read in uh, uh, Revelation, the 18th chapter, and you can look into it, into the 15th chapter as well of Revelation. If you didn't make it up on that trip, you're going to hear these sounds right before the destruction really come, man. So a little willingness is edifying, giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Hashem, Arachach, Kodash, Devil, to our apostles, the bishops, and elders of the great millstone. Greetings, salutations, blessings. Much love unto you, hopeful elect, until the next one. Shalom.